let me add this and we've got hi hi chat room anybody here uh, these uber eats ads are getting really ridiculous <laughs> all right they're showing some dude eating a roll of scotch tape because it was delivered in his uber eats grocery bag it's like, oh, they delivered it. I can eat it. No! Wow. That's really not a good PSA. Yeah, there Cause... was another one where there was a, a thing of lipstick in there and the lady's eating it because it came out of the grocery oh. bag. I'm like, no, that's gross. Well, I mean, technically, you should be able to eat lipstick, but gross. Nobody really like that doesn't taste good it's no real. no hi fair hi 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 chat room howdy everybody can you hear us okay hopefully you can yeah i hope so because windows did like two updates this week <laughs> yeah oh yeah yes yes she can hear us that's good excellent they they added something to my toolbar and i don't know how to make it go away oh i haven't looked actually I mean, I did it a couple of days ago, so when I turned on the computer, like, yesterday, I was like, yeah, everything looks okay. I cranked up, um, XSplit, and I'm like, yeah, that looks okay. Oh, good, I've got an update to do. Uh, yeah, if I do it now, <laughs> if anything goes wrong, I've got time. Yeah. So, they added um, this little image at the end of my search bar block that tells me what oh. day today is and oh it's national whatever day i'm like why is there a picture here why are you on my toolbar i don't need to know this oh. stop taking up room on my pc weird okay um all right what i want to know is why is that not coming through i don't understand why it is not triggering in Why it's not triggering in room in promote? Why is it not coming up? Oh, it takes a minute in promo when the yeah, bot's doing it. Yeah, but it hasn't been doing it the last couple of times. So. Really? Hmm. Not happy, Jan. Anyway, all right, it's all good. Um. Okay, fair. Just want to see you can hear. Happy is my blood. The most important thing. <laughs> That's the most important. We have got coffee. That's that's good. Um, all right. I'm gonna guess everything else should be fine because I know you can hear me, Nisi. Fair can hear me. Coffee. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. Okay. Right. Well, I forced it to happen. So. Okay. I I don't know what's going on. It was perfectly fine a couple of weeks ago where it was triggering through both for when I'm on WoW Challenges and when I was on my account and it hasn't, like it didn't last week and it hasn't this today. Well watch, so, because I did it, it'll probably do it. Okay. Um, <laughs> that seems to be the way, I like don't... I don't pre-set up the tweet and yeah. then the bot goes through on Twitter, but yeah. when I don't have it pre-set up, then half the time the, the tweet bot doesn't do it. And I'm like, really? So then I'm scrambling to try to get that one done. Yeah. It's, I don't, there's so many things. Anyway, uh, it's 9 a.m. Brisbane time. So you know what time that is. You know what time yes. it is. All right, let's do this. And three, two, one. Let's go. Whatever it is you enjoy about the world of Warcraft, we have a challenge for you. Adventure. Crafted. Murder. Flowers. This is the WoW Challenges Podcast. And here's your host, Lita. Hello and welcome to the WoW Challenges podcast. This is episode 295. Today is Saturday, May 14, 2022. Or if you're in the beautifully 
wet rain state of Queensland like I am here in Australia it's Sunday the 15th <laughs> there is much water everywhere and flooding yay uh, yay. yay it's very very exciting uh, anyway I am your host Lita hi yes I'm Australian and I am hanging out with my good friend over here my co-host for this week is Nisi hi welcome thank hello. you hello yes hello thank you for inviting me that's all right thank you for saying yes that's always good <laughs> that's the main thing um yeah so we've got uh, remember when we had flooding back in February uh there was a lot of rain and the pool got very very Full and there was lots of water in the backyard so they're saying that this might be worse good time to get the boats ready yes so um but anyway today I've only had one uh, what do you call it um flood warning today yesterday I had about four um we're okay so we're like where I am with the family with execute we're, we're okay um but it could be fun times trying to get to work tomorrow so anyway uh we will <laughs> see how Time that to get goes. the kitty a life jacket and yeah. get Kobe a life jacket well well Kobe <laughs> yeah, Kobe doesn't like water he's uh it's just doesn't he's not a water dog um but yeah it's it's just lots of lots of water and it goes from you know when it's just like that very soft to then torrential it's like there's it's kind of like there's not much in between it's either too like pretty light rain and then it goes <laughs> it's like it's all coming down so um so yeah so fun, fun times over here which is which is excellent uh how is it going over there in springtime for you it's mm. hot we've <laughs> skipped spring now and we're straight on into summer we okay. had to put on our air conditioning um this week which yep. killed me uh because i i knew as soon as we turned it on that was pretty much probably going to be it it was going to be yep. on and then it was just too early for this because it, it's just the beginning of may here we usually don't try mm. to put that on till june at the latest but it spiked to like mid 90s fahrenheit yeah. for us and it was so hot in our room like i was melting i was sticking to my chair and i'm like my parents mm -hmm. have got to be just you know just beside themselves with how hot it is i said yeah. russell go check on them see if we need to turn the air on and they were like no we're fine and i'm like how are you fine it is so hot in mm -hmm. here and their room wasn't as hot their room was like 10 degrees colder than ours i'm like how how wow. you have his oxygen machine running okay. and and this running and that running like and i'm just like how is it colder in here yeah and, and the, hmm. i couldn't sleep that night i was like we're putting the air on i don't care they're just gonna have to cope because i am yeah. melting and i can't sleep yeah there's, so that's been on like all week there's nothing worse than being either too hot or too cold like you know at least if you're too cold you can keep putting layers on that is oh, yeah. the saving grace but when you are too hot and you can get down to be to nothing and you're still hot like it yeah just, i was yeah. like minimal clothing and i'm sticking to everything my mm. I, I was itchy because i was so sweaty and i'm like yeah. oh my god we have to i can't do this anymore we have to put it on mm. we had like five fans on it wasn't doing anything and then the dogs have to be pressed well the one dog has to be pressed up against me when i try to sleep yeah and he has to be under a blanket mm -hmm. and i'm like I'm too hot for this. He was mad because I didn't have a blanket the other night. And I'm like, it's too hot in here. He kept giving me a side eye yeah. and so ju so judgy looks. And I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> You're not yeah. getting your way. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's it's kind of that, that um, weird thing. Kobe does the same, um, even though he doesn't, he sleeps with grandma and granddad um, at the moment. And he, he just positions himself between both of them like you know right up and and make sure that he's touching both of them either side it's completely oh, hilarious yeah. and then like, neither of them can move yeah like he can't be on top of the sheet he has mm. to be skin to fur and i'm like yeah. sir no 
Oh, we are. We do love our fur babies, though. They are. Yes. They are good fun. All right. Um. So anyway, welcome everyone. Thank you for a little ranty uh, weather pet uh, <laughs> update. All of all of that. Um. But I I thought we would have a, a little chat to start off the show with some of our most common questions from the FAQ. We may have some, we've got, you know, there are always new players coming in, trying the challenges, which is fantastic. We say, welcome, come try all of those things. Many people like to join through on our Discord, through the forums, asking questions via Twitter, uh, sometimes via email. Thank you guys for reaching out. And it's always best that if in doubt, ask the question. Sometimes it's not a good idea to just think, yeah, she'll be right because she might not be right and you might get flagged. So we have the rule set, um, but we're going to talk about all those other, well, not all of them, but some of the most common. The ones that people can get a little tripped up with at times. And I think the first one that I want to talk about is probably one of our most asked question. I, I, I'm going to put it out there. I, I think this would be the most asked question, of, whether it's of all time, but it just feels like this is, this is always one that we do ask, um, get asked. And it's, it's normally very simple. So Nisi, what would that be? All right. So probably our most asked question is when I try to import my character, it says I've done pet battles or raid bosses and I didn't do any. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, there, there's this thing where um, Blizzard API kind of shows all of your account wide stuff unless you tell it not to so um and you have to do this per character so when you log in and you create your character i do this first thing so i don't forget mm -hmm. um as i'm setting up my bars and going through everything you have to go into your interface menu and in there there'll be um like all the different little sub menus and you'll see one that says social so you're going to click on that social um sub menu and that's going to bring up another um, menu that has a whole bunch of little boxes that may or may not already be checked. Um, you know, it's going to be where your mature language filter is and, and all that. And mm -hmm. you're going to go down. It's on the first column. It's towards the bottom. It might be the very last one. And then it says display only yeah, character achievements to others. You need to check that mm -hmm. um, so that it's only showing what this character has done for, for the API. Because um, yep. if you don't do that and you go to, to um, add, then it's going to say, oh, I did this raid, I did that raid, and you're level 10, and you're like, I can't raid, I'm level 10, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. So it's because of that. So just, you know, as a routine for making your character, you might want to just do that as you're setting up. But yep. then just double check real quick that it didn't become unchecked through internet gremlins uh, mm -hmm. before you actually go to add your character to the website. Exactly. And look, again, it's something, as Nisi said, this is something that when you're used to making a new tune or every time you're making a new challenger tune, it's one of the very first things I do as well. Like, you know, set everything up, go in and set the bars up, make sure everything looks right. And that's on one of my kind of lists of set this up. I have to have my spells in the right place. I need to make sure I've, you know, ticked this, that box, all those kinds of things. So it can be just as simple as just getting used to doing that for when you're playing a challenge tune. But that is definitely one of the big things because you will find you won't be able to add your character to the website. That's the other thing. So, um, and give it time. We all know the API can be a little you cranky. know a little, a little cranky a little cranky a little cranky at times so sometimes it might be you know i normally will log fully out okay i will no normally log straight out of the tune 
I will also log straight out of Battle.net just to make sure and I'll give it a couple minutes just to see if that's enough time and then reload and go and you know go from that so sometimes you might have to give yeah. it a little bit more than a couple of minutes because the API can be very we won't call it what I called it before cranky. the show but, but yeah mm -hmm. yes <laughs> there was there we did use some choice words um but yes so that's the main thing now the next one and I oh that was the other thing I have moved that up to the top on the FAQ oh that's what I was gonna do I knew there was something I was gonna do hang on I've got the link for those of you that don't know where the FAQ is on the website um, I've got the link there in chat. Uh, we will have it on the on the blog post as well. Yes. But there is a site like up it, when you look at the website, there is a tab that's got the FAQ itself. Okay, so you can go straight into it and it's all there. I've moved this one to the number one position to make it easy because some reason it was further right towards the bottom and I think it's a very important one because we do get asked that a lot because people don't realize or weren't aware or forgot to do it so um yeah and it's a pretty extensive that. list of things on there it's not like just mm. five or six things so I would definitely recommend reading it or rereading it if you've mm -hmm. been away for a while and you're just coming back but yeah I would definitely look it over before you even get started with what you're you're gonna do so that way yeah. You're not Rules confused. FAQ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, now the the next one, which would I would think maybe <laughs> one question behind the first one, or it might be one question in front. Like they're they're very they're very very, they're very close interchangeable because yeah. they do get asked a lot. And as Tyba said in chat which is basically can you switch specs that's you know and again there was a time when we could not use specs so the question that we've got in the faq is i thought we couldn't use specs well yep. once upon yes, a you time can. once upon a time <laughs> exactly we couldn't use specs because it was like an option but then yep. blizzard forced then happened legion happened exactly and specs were basically forced onto us and therefore it came down to allowing specs so you know yeah. for whatever you're playing you can swap specs you don't have to go in and say for um for what do i say for a warlock um i'm always going to be destro <laughs> every single time uh even on my challenge tunes we're gonna do destro because there are times that that chaos bolt to the face from my little iron or bloodthirsty is just so satisfying it is good uh but you know if it defaults to whatever it defaults to and you're like yeah i'm not enjoying it like hunter like some people hunters uh priests you know warriors you can play around with it and and try different specs as you're leveling your challenge soon because sometimes there might be times that you're like I'm not feeling it like it was really good up until say level 20 and all of a sudden I'm not having fun with that spec well change specs change yeah, it you know so, set yourself up for the most possible success within the rules mm -hmm. don't force yourself to be in a spec that you a don't know or mm -hmm. and or b don't enjoy because yeah. then you're either going to lose interest or you're not going to understand the spell or suddenly this spell changes at this level and you're like oh no 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 yes no. let's go back to this so i mean exactly. you know just try to set yourself up for the most um successful mm. chance that you may have especially on your first time out you don't need to go extra hardcore and try to be you know the the person that's going to do all of the things the hardest way possible first time out baby steps learn learn yep. the mental changes that you need to do to to get through this and start out with something mm. that you know the best and then work your way up to harder stuff exactly and as fair says in the chat room druids are like that balance is good to start but i always change to resto so 
and again you know sometimes it's just a matter of just have a play around with it you know mm -hmm. um and see play even just play around at the lower the lower levels um before you know you start getting higher that could that could definitely be a thing or if you lose that tune through whatever reason and you roll the next one you might be like okay well i i didn't enjoy what i had that spec in so you know what from from um ground running i'm gonna give this spec a go or whichever so just remember you can you can swap specs that is fine disappointed as he isn't in the chat room to um <laughs> i know right you know, but I'm sure he's he's busy doing something. So um, so that's that's that. So yes. So most important, you can certainly change specs as many times as you want. It's you're not going to get flagged. It is perfectly legal. However, we have uh, the third question, and we used to get this pro quite a lot. I'm gonna say maybe black and warlords, maybe maybe before warlocks i don't know it, it feels like it hasn't been asked as much in the last couple of expansions um i could be yeah, wrong i don't remember answering this one recently it, it um, used it's, it's to get a asked a lot yeah yeah it used to be a lot and and again it is still very important on this one yes. it is you know it's about talents because if you do the wrong thing you're going to get flagged so on this one we've got can we use talents no <laughs> short answer no long answer is the specs were forced on us but talents i was going to say challenge um challenge uh they should now be called challenge <laughs> challenge that's that's the word of the day um <laughs> my husband's clapping out at me <laughs> Oh, <coughs> uh, I okay. Before I go into it, let me let me tell you, he's not listening, so I can say it. Um, so we decided that we would start uh, where we've said the the wrong sentence or the wrong words. So we've we're compiling like this is the the list of twenty twenty two. Oh no! Of things, and I th I'm gonna say I think he's done more than me. Mind you, I think that might have tied it. But anyway, um, you know, just when you speak and the words don't come out right and things, so we're we're he's making a I list. have a notebook full. <laughs> yeah, well, I think he's got the note like notepad on the computer that he's adding things to, and we've we've we haven't done as many as I thought, which for me was surprising because <laughs> i'm always words are hard people they are. um so yeah so anyway i'm gonna guess that one probably might get added in anyway we will see uh but getting back to talents so talents the whole reason for talents is you have to choose a talent okay when you're playing a tune you choose a talent so for a challenge tune they're not allowed because of that when you're choosing something that's you know it's it, you're adding into the character so for specs they're forced on us which allows everyone to be able to have specs but for a talent it is a big no so just remember and i mean there's there's at times you know things can pop up and be like you haven't used this talent um just remember there are oh, I didn't. I I think there's uh, an add-on. Add-on high talent. High talent or something. Yeah, yeah one just, word. Just search I think it's, for it in yeah. whatever talent, uh, talent, whatever mod, um, thingy that you use to acquire mods. Yeah, and uh, it it should come up. I've I know I've got it because I've been using it for years and I know I like high <laughs> I talent know a lot of alert. Like that. So that I, I like it to flash at me though. Yeah. I know this is going to sound stupid, but I know a lot of people don't like the flash that it annoys them. Uh, I like it because well, then I know I me. didn't do it. Yeah. So I get it. I get it. But for me, like flashy things are not good. So, um, uh, but yeah, so one word, hide talent alert. Oh, I might put the, remind me, I'll put the link in, um, we'll, I'll add it 
here, hang on, hide talent alert, and we'll find the link. We'll put that in the show notes too, so if there is anyone out there that's like, ah, I can't find it, we'll put the link to, um, what do they call it now, Curse Forge, uh, well, I, that's I think where it's I moved get to it from. Overwolf or something. Yeah, so we'll put a link down. One of those. Um, and how how it is, but it's high talent alert. All one like one word. It's supposed to be so um so yeah. Okay. Uh, now just also to remind people, Tin Man is a very different challenge. There are a lot of things that do have exceptions with Tin Man talents for a tin man are allowed okay so just reminding that when you're playing your traditional challenge to your iron bloodthirsty pacifist and then going into your green man's your working man's you know their their own uh kind of as stripped down as can it can be all right they're all based on off of basically iron and then you've got tin man which allows you to have leeway tin man challenges are allowed to use talents and we've got that in the faq if there is an exception for tin man or for a different challenge it will state there so just remember on that one yeah. as well Tin Man's kind of like your Iron Man with training wheels, kind of. Kind yeah, of, just to yeah. kind of get your feet wet, see if some this people, is for you or not. E exactly, and some people get a little bit, you know, ah, iron is very scary, and it's, it's, it's not. Like, I, I say, you don't know until you give it a try. Go give it a try. Um, but if you want to dip your toes, Tin Man is a good way to you know for some players they've found it's it's a nice introduction it's not as harsh <laughs> shall we say um as yeah. your traditional and I know some people some people use their tin mans as their iron man scouts as Ex well as well which again is if if you're able to having a scout is a wonderful thing if you're going into a different area if you're doing quests you haven't done in a long time or you've never done they're, they're good to have all right um okay nisi do you want to take the next one that we do quite often get questions uh, about sure so our next one is as soon as the motorcycle goes away <laughs> that was very that was very loud nice yes. yes um am i allowed to get buffs from other players no <laughs> Short answer. Short answer, no. Um, if another player buffs you, just, just click the buff off as soon as mm -hmm. possible, as soon as you notice it. Because um, the only buff that you can have are the ones that come out of your spell book that you can use on yourself, that you can mm -hmm. reapply yourself. Scrolls don't count. Scrolls are an outside source. So even if it's the same spell that would be in your spell book, it's not the same. Don't use the scroll. It has to be from your spell book. Um, if you get a buff, from a quest that won't go away, what do you do? Well, buffs from an NPC for a quest, they're usually okay. Um, they're there to help you for that particular quest and they usually go away once the quest is done. Mm -hmm. One exception to that is if you do a series of quests in Darkshore, the entire zone is buffed when you walk mm. in. Um, you can't make it go away, So, um, yeah. but usually you're on your way out by the time you, you do that one. Um, so just, you know, eh, try to limit your time in there, and I don't think it does that much for you on that one anyhow. But, you know, that's a zone-wide thing, and you can't get rid of it. Um, yeah. We've tried. It, it won't go away. It's unclickable. Mm -hmm. um, and then lastly, I get a buff from my pet, am I going to be red flagged? And nope, because... There's been exceptions made for hunters and warlocks um, that's kind of intergrained into the class that so helps the class survive. So um, it's it's just part of the class. So you're okay. Exactly. Um, now I was just going to reiterate, where is it? Um, things like, I don't think I've this one in here 
but again looking at FAQ you know there's things like um, warlocks using health stones DKs using reforging you know why can't monks use the XP boost and all oh, that yeah. so that again that's you know we've we've got those things in the FAQ we've also got which uh, added in last week uh, the week before last week I think it was um because there was a question about mm. uh warlocks using soul stone or shaman reincarnate I was gonna say re incinerate but that's not, <laughs> that's not the right one um no and again you know it's it's basically a death don't forget a death is a death like blizzards api the stats as soon as you die yeah you can get your body back quicker by using the soul stone using reincarnate but you're dead you're red flagged that tune is done now whether you want to keep that tune to continue on and do tin man do it as a scout whichever but for the original challenge say iron say um you know bloodthirsty um it's done so just remember death is a death exceptions of course are your tin man because tins do allow to die so don't forget we've got that all in the faq as to the whys the ifs um you know the whys the why nots etc so again there is a lot of information in the FAQ which is most important and we always say to people starting off or that are coming back to the challenges read your rules read the FAQ then go make your turn okay or at least if you've made your turn go read the rules in the FAQ most important yeah very important um okay uh what else did we have all right do you want to take the last one for me sure I deleted my old challenger and I want to reuse the name again, but I still see the original character's info. So, as we said earlier, API can be a little cranky mm -hmm. at times. Um, Finicky! So, yeah. Mm. So, um, you can reuse the name of the challenger. However, um, it, for characters that were deleted and re-rolled using the same exact name, we've seen a little bit of... Um, interesting uh, gremlins going on with the data not being completely refreshed and updated for the new character mm. so you might want to either add a letter subtract a letter wait like a week or two before you try to reuse that name um because yeah. um even though on armory it may look all well and good on that new character once you're able to get to 10 and see it um that doesn't mean that the data is completely fine on mm. the API side, because don't forget, a lot of people get confused. We don't pull from Armory, we pull from API. Armory pulls from API. Yeah. So um, they both pull from the sort of same data pool to a degree, but we don't pull directly from Armory. Yeah. So um, what you see on Armory, it might be something different that we're seeing on API sometimes. Mm. So um, don't don't get confused with that. Just because it looks fine on Armory doesn't mean it's going to be 100% fine on the website. Yeah. It has to do when, when all of that data, the interconnects updates on all sides. And that takes time. So, yeah. That, that yeah, it does. can... It takes like 24 hours to exactly. well, like a half an hour. It depends on where you are in the update cycle when yeah. that happens. I mean, it seems to be a little, definitely a little better than perhaps was it BFA that was... It's gotten a little better. BFA like three was days really kind of, kind of a pain. It would be mm. like a 24-hour minimum or yeah. like a week maximum sometimes in yeah. some instances. So, um, which is when, you know, during BFA, I think we were asking people not to reuse the same exact name at all if you could mm. help it. But I think it's gotten better. Um, but still yeah. do understand that if you reuse that name, it could be a little wonky for mm. a few days or a week until things, you know, get That's themselves right. sorted or you level past that level that that character had died at. Sometimes exactly. that needs to happen. Yep. It, just be prepared. Yeah. Like if you have leveled a character to say 50, you've died, you've re-rolled like straight away, 
you've you've made it the same name whether it's the same class race whichever doesn't matter you've made it the same name you start you go and register at level 10 and it's gonna and it's showing up that you know hang on it you are level 50 and you're red flagged it's because the data hasn't quite got to allow for hang on that tunes now gone so therefore mm -hmm. there's a new tune that's come in so again just sometimes it's good to have a few names that you can rotate so if you lose that tune you can go on to like the next name and then yep. you know it might be a couple of months down the track and you haven't used that name you die again and you go okay i want to go back to that first name that i yeah. used or like flip the yeah. name around if it's like a two-part name like stick the back half of the name in the front mm. or something if you yeah. really need to have that name combination mm. Or and again just change the spelling by, by one with you know add an yeah. extra e add an extra l add an extra t or an s or phonetically spell it or something so the yeah. point gets across <laughs> play around with it see what's available exactly so um but again you know we do have a big faq section there so if you've got um any concerns on pop there have a look have a read through if you've still got concerns most definitely reach out to us whether that is through discord twitter email um, you know, in chat, all of the things certainly reach out to us to get some clarification. But we've, you know, we do try and make it as easy as possible for you to read and understand. Um, so, yeah. So, FAQ, most important for everyone to read through that. All right. Um, <laughs> Fair says, yes, <laughs> she adds letters a yes, lot, Nisi. Yes, yes. Total, I totally hear you, Fair. I do the, I do the same kind of thing. Look at the different spellings of how we can, get, what we can get away with. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, um, Nisi, how's your week been? In game. <laughs> I was gonna say out of game. We don't want to talk about that. Um, Let's not talk game, about it's that. It's been okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so you know, we got some bloodthirsty leveling done. And mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Going back. <laughs> yeah, traffic's loud for some reason right now um mm -hmm. so yeah we did some some bloodthirsty leveling as we do normally um we're working on four right now in a mm -hmm. rotation um we brought out the warrior this week nice. because i misjudged where my levels were and uh i really don't want three in bastion so we brought out the warrior yep. this week um felt funny being back on a warrior again uh i have to remember i don't really have a legit heal spell so mm -hmm. um have to make sure I pile up on the food on her. Um, yep. Because I went to eat and I'm like, oh, I need more food. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I got the warrior to, to 38. And um, they're my lowest level bloodthirsty right now. So okay. they're probably going to be the last one that, that gets wrapped up. Mm -hmm. um, Shaman, I got to 44. Nice. So they're still, they're, they're plugging away in BFA. I will say things are starting to hurt in rest of a spec at 44. Um, I've definitely had to be a little more diligent about my heals on her. Uh, it might be an armor issue. Um, I have not gotten a single piece of male gear to drop the entire time since level 27 since being in BFA. Yeah. And she's 44 now. And I'm kind of mm. mad. I keep getting everything else but male gear. And I'm like, does mm. it not exist? I'm like, I know it exists because I saw it drop on a different character. Mm -hmm. But it's won't give it to my shaman Murphy's, and i'm like mm, rng shake my fist at you <laughs> yes yep happened all the, the same happened yep. when i play mine it's it's just like why i need the plate like why is plate dropping yeah. on my clothy yeah my warrior is not getting plate either and mm -hmm. i'm like what what is happening um yeah. And uh, it, it's crazy, and I'm like, well, I should just go buy some gear. But I never got her Darlaran Hearthstone, and um, I really wish I had because Oops. the boat's still bugged when you try to leave oh. um, BFA okay. and Tiragard 
on a yeah. bloodthirsty because you can't open the portals oh. and it drops you in Hillsbrad at the Arathi battleground portal entrance. Excellent! So then you have to try to get up to Chillwind safely mm -hmm. because um, going through the hole in the wall into Arathi is not always an option, especially if you're level 50 because then the zone becomes um, a, a battleground PvP zone. So it's like, oh, okay. Mm. So I might just tough it out because she's going to replace her gear at 50 anyway. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, yeah, I have to, I might start to dropping my healing totem. I haven't had to, but I might have to start doing that. Um, yep. Druid that's been around forever. Chupa actually named that druid. Um, and wow. they are level 54. Nice. Um, they're still kicking around in, in Bastion. Um, mm -hmm. They're doing okay. Leveling's starting to slow down a little bit for them, but I expected okay. that. Yep. Um, level 57 seems to be the worst level for me in oh, Bastion okay. because uh -huh. the mobs are either green or they're dark orange, oh. and yep. it's, ugh, it, it's tedious. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> and but we did manage to get the DK to 58 nice. somehow, some way, without me, you know, going insane. Um, so that that was good. Mm -hmm. It took me like 10 hours, I think. Wow. Um, yep. And, you know, good decisions are never made at 3 a.m. or after. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other night, I was kind of just sitting there, and I was like, you know what? let's make a working man. And I'm like, what are you doing? And I'm like, <laughs> let's, like let's, let's make a working man. Because I've, I've done two pacifists. Mm -hmm. So you I were having that conversation. Let's, money. let's do this. Yeah, like a, what? Like, let's, let's try to make this. some money. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, let, let's do a working man. Do you know how weird it feels to be in, in white <laughs> and gray gear for mm -hmm. me starting year? Because I haven't placed it doing a profession and being able to kill shit i'm like oh god this is wrong I've, I've broken so many flags and i'm like no you're fine it's allowed so this is a very very twisted mind thing for me to be dealing with because i'm like i'm killing stuff but i'm in gray gear but i have a profession and i'm just like all over the place but yeah. um I, I think i've gotten her to level 15. nice so uh, yeah it, it's it's crazy and yeah as i i know I know the scouting map can get a bloodthirsty to another zone. I wasn't happy in the other zones. Mm. Um, I, I couldn't find my place. And I and I know that sounds weird, but I have places worked out in Bastion, even though the zone, I'm so sick of being there. I yeah. would love to be able to find my place in another zone. I just can't. I'm not comfortable anywhere else, unfortunately. Um, I can always find something that I don't like about the other zones. Yeah. So I'm just destined to be there, but it helped out with my pacifist because I knew where to go and what nodes weren't that busy with hostile mm -hmm. mobs. But um, but yeah, I mean that is option for other people if they're on a bloodthirsty and they do not want to be in Bastion. Your only other way off is to spend the what is it, 10k, on the scouting map for Shadowlands. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, but for so... some reason, peace while my server is selling like like a stupid amount level for for gold, and I'm like. How yeah. am I 15 and I'm like at 2,000 gold already? Nice. Nice. That's that's good, yes. I mean, it's it's fun. It's it's nice to jump outside of the comfort zone. It will, what do they say? It'll keep you honest. It'll give you a little yeah. bit of anxiety as well when you Yes, because I'm so have scared because I'm killing stuff. And yeah. I'm like, I really shouldn't be doing this. And I'm yeah. like, no, no, you're okay. You can. Mm. And I'm like, no, no, I really shouldn't be. And then I'm like, well, wait. What level do people say that the iron started having trouble killing stuff? Because I haven't killed anything on my iron in I don't know how long. And she's like just sitting at 54 collecting dust. And I'm like, meh. So, um, <laughs> do, can't yeah. do it. Can't do it. So I'm like, this will this will give me something other to do aside from killing stuff and like yeah. waiting for holidays that I don't like to do. So, um, exactly. it's just weird. I'm like, I think people said they couldn't kill stuff at 30. So right now I'm just kind of, you know, do I want to move? Do I want to stay? Yeah. It's kind of fun to be able to kill a mob that's standing on top of a node that you want mm -hmm. instead of having to go buy it. And being like, no, I can't get that. That wolf is standing there. But right now, I'm like, you're mine. Let's go. I want that node. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, well, that's good. Excellent uh, work on the bloodthirsties. 
as per yes. usual. So this is the lot. This is the last lot. This is lot. the last lot. This yeah, is the last I've lot. got. Okay. I've got the warrior, the mm. um, the shaman, the demon hunter that took this week off, mm -hmm. the druid, and the DK. Okay. DK should be should be yeah, the next one to to be wrapped up. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So where are we? Um, uh, Zaya did say for warriors, ignore pain is good. Too. Yeah, I've been trying to keep enough rage to, yep. to be using that. Fortunately, what I'm killing is not too terrible. Uh, yeah. I'm over in the Tusk Pools in Zoldazar. Oh, okay. Zandalar, yeah. one of those, whatever. Yeah. And um, they, they're not too bad. Uh, there's like two that will constantly pull together, but with Ignore Pain, it's, it's not terrible. Yeah. Um, it, it's okay. doable, cool. at least right now. But. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Um, also uh yeah first says amazingly different feeling with going from the different challenges i uh, says switching from passy to working to pt can be confusing yeah yeah i have to keep yeah. just sitting there i'm like okay what am i doing like I, she she's in her starter robe so mm -hmm. i know who she is yep. I, I know her name the name made me giggle when i named her and i d couldn't get the full spelling because it was like one letter too many and i'm like oh Dang. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, that's all right. It still works without that letter on the end, or the two letters on the end. I had mm. to cut it off to to make it work, but um, it just it, it amused me. So I'm like, okay, we'll see how far this goes. Yeah, I I know that when I was running like with the passies and then jumping onto bloods or irons or working or whatever I was doing, it was always do the passy first because no killing the the last thing i ever wanted to do be like okay i'm jumping on everything that can kill everything and then you hop on passies and you forget there's no yeah killing. you don't just so, want to like slip into the muscle memory of oh yeah, yeah. this is in my way and just yeah. like oh what did i just do yeah so i all i have always found if i'm going to play my sit down and play a few challenge tunes i go with you know like start with passy because no killing, just have that foremost, okay, just go do the quest, don't kill anything, finish with her, jump on to the next one. Okay, I can kill, do whatever I need to do. So um, so that's always uh, another way to look at it. Uh, Fair says, good while doing archaeology. Yep, kill those annoying trolls. <laughs> yes, Fair, we know about the annoying trolls, absolutely um all right well well done certainly seems like a busy week for you and uh yeah well done on that uh mine's very short i did get to do a little bit of streaming last um after the show last week i think it was and i later hit level 18 so i went from 16 to 18 um That's good. we're over in the ba barrens questing in the barrens i was trying to be very picky choosy with what i'm doing uh you know stuff that sends you down to where the pirates are i was like no yeah. that used to always be a really bad area i think i could lost about that yeah. many over the years down there i was like yeah no good so barons um, can be good but barons you also have to know your quests and where they're sending yeah. you and it's okay to walk away from a quest there's plenty out there especially with chromy time exactly and i've not invoked chromy time yet so i've just been trying to go more the good old grindy quest you know like the zebra hooves and you know get the raptors get the those bits and pieces so at the moment she's i think i've nearly done what i want to do in the barrens with enough kind of the grindy stuff um i finished off i've been down to ratchet got a couple of quests from there as well there's some stuff that i was like yeah no i'm I'm not sure on I don't want to scout it out I just I, I'm not happy like my gut is saying not happy to do that quest so I just leave it and I figure I'll you know jump somewhere else so I'm not sure where I'm going to go yet but um but we're level 18 <laughs> so not bad yay. at least you got time to play so yes that's important yes there's not been there's not been very much lately uh, but well, at um, least she got a little slow progress so well so we're getting there and she's probably like three bars from 19 so you know nice. we're, we're getting there we're getting there 
uh, didn't die. I'm just accumulating so, yeah. rested for when you have to go on your grindy quests. Exactly, exactly. You know, that's always a good one way to do it. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much been my week in game with challenge turns. That's it. <laughs> very, very simple. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Where's my little bumper? Here it is. Let's do this one. Breaking down news from the world of Warcraft. Alrighty. So, um, I just was going to throw this one here in the chat. We'll put the link in. Uh, something that I thought was a bit intriguing. Um that people you know again whether you're a new player you're not a new player all of those kind of things but they are bringing um social contract they're testing in the 9.2.5 patch and i found that really intriguing i i also think it's quite interesting what are we at 18 years this game's been out i um, think when 18? the anniversary rolls around again in november It'll be 18 or 19. anyway a long time <laughs> a long bloody time um regardless uh so i i was just like well that's it's interesting it's taken that long for this to come in so anyway if you want to have a look i just thought it was a nice little interesting thing for those of you that might not be aware um but they are testing it over at the p on the ptr build uh this week i think so you know if you want to check it out go and have a look i so yeah so i just wanted to mention that um, also, the other thing is we do have some Spreadshirt, some Challenger swag over at Spreadshirt store. Uh, there is free standard shipping uh, that started May 11th and it goes to May 16th. So you've still got another day or so. If you're after anything, shirts, mugs, all the bits and pieces. So check it out. We'll have the link for that on uh, on the blog as well okay most exciting time is our state of the challenges so let's see yes. how we have gone this week so nisi what have we got please okay so for irons 10th this week is garanoas or garanus sorry can't pronounce things um level 26 you've been lost to the nether so you may need to log into your character and mm. update on the website um Feyrin, level 26 r.i.p sadly hmm. eighth iron pal level 27 seventh last stab level 28 but r.i.p mm -hmm. sixth broken back level 30 Fifth, Steelman, level 32. Fourth, we have Put Iron at 51. Three ore Oreganos or Oregons. I'm not sure how I'm pronouncing that. Mm -hmm. um, I might be flipping letters, but that's either way how I'm seeing it. Mm -hmm. uh, level 51, RIP. Second this week for Irons, we have Ash Steels at 51. And first for Irons this week, we have Iron Manic at 54. Nice. Excellent. All right. Uh, do you want to take the Bloods as well while sure. you're on a roll? <laughs> <laughs> for Bloods this week, we only had six. So six is Brissy at 18. Fifth, Zaya Bingra. Sorry if I mispronounced that, Zaya. Uh, 35. Fourth, Troll Your Soul, 38. Third this week, Tidal Soul at 44. Second, Soul Survivor at 54. And first, My Bloody Soul at 58. Nice. Alrighty, well done on those. Okay, so Pacifist. We've got 10 on the Pacifist list we this do. week. That's very exciting. All right, at number 10, we've got On the Wind at 14. We have at number 9, we've got 
Tatiana, Tatiana at 16. Again, apologies for butchering names if we do. Uh, we do try our best. Um, number eight is Himbo at 17. Number seven. Well, how on earth did someone get that name? I how? don't know. Okay. CC, as in let us see, let us see. Okay. I didn't know they were allowing those things. I didn't either. Okay. Uh, it's level 22. There you go. Uh, number six is a chili at 30. Number five is peacefulness at 38. Number four this week is no harm done at 55. Three is Zaya Pelli at 56. Number two is fair at 57. And number one. <laughs> Sneaky at 59. Excellent. Well who done. Who owns Sneaky? I have not seen this name ever. I have no idea who belongs it's to this character. Very cool name. Very cool if you, name. If you belong to Sneaky, let me know, please, through yeah. Discord or whatever, just so I know who you are, so I, I can make preparations. Mm-hmm. Yes. 59 because you know what happens when we hit 60 and the ding and everything's good we can do yep. a little write up uh, about your experience and and what you've done which is very exciting um okay so there was no tins this week but we did nope. have eight greens so the we greens did. for this week we have got eight at uh lyron at level 13. number seven is La Ruli? La Ruli? I think so. I think so. At level 13, RIP. Number six was Gormidia. Gormid Gormidori? Gormidori? Oh. Yeah, it could be. That's how I'm seeing it. I see Midori. Actually, I see Midori. That used to be one of my favorite drinks when I was like 19. Uh, <laughs> 19 and clubbing when that was a thing I did for not very long um but yeah good yeah anyway they're level 13 <laughs> as well so uh well done uh number five is verde at uh 14 number four this week is pink flower at 16 number three is jawla at 18 number two is maidenless at 29 and number one is Nyazu. Nyazu? Nyazu? At 36. Nyazu? Yeah, it could be Nyazu at level 36. So well done, Greens, there. All right, do you want to take our working man? Sure. So uh, we had six working man challengers this week. So six is Gwaith at level 12. Fifth was Tiber. I have no idea how you managed to get that spelled properly, Tiber, <laughs> but congratulations. Um, level 14. Uh, Tin Tax in fourth this week at level 15. Third, Soul Blister at 15. <laughs> Two, Lurks at 37. And first, Fair Winter at 53. Nice. Well done, Fair. Look at her go. I love the name, Nisi. That's... <laughs> That's awesome. Love I it. I tried to get blistered soul or soul blister, but it was yep. like two letter, one letter too long, and I'm like, ah. Yeah, no, but still, that's that's very cool. Excellent. Well, obviously, well done, everyone, on leveling. It is so good to see the state of the challenge boards with you know all our challenge players uh, going, you know, just out there leveling, which is fantastic obviously commiserations to all those tunes that we lost this week and looking at the list we did lose a few so um commiserations to those that may have had a rough week on that uh but to everyone out there thank you for playing our challenges we it, it makes us happy absolutely all right, uh, let's get going on this one. Hey, yo, 
Goblins chit chat. There's our favourite goblin. I was talking to him the other night too. So yes. yeah, that was Things lovely. Things are turning around for him. Yes, which is which is good. But um, we yep. send all our positive energy to him, and uh, he I hope he's doing well. So um, yes. All right. I I found some. Then they're, they're not game gaming related, but they found a couple of cute ones so <laughs> little, little jokes um so nisi i picked one for you i hope I you like see. it all right so what do you call a thieving alligator a crocodile i had to i had to <laughs> It's so cute. It's so cute. Uh, okay, so, and then, well, what would I be without having at least a coffee joke? Uh, all right. So, new word, which is pro-caffeinating noun. The tendency to not start anything until you've had your coffee. <laughs> Abso-frickin-lutely. That is me <laughs> every day every morning all right uh tiber's got his stolen joke of the week <clears throat> excuse me i found out i'm allergic to snakes so now i take an antihistamine <laughs> oh i am not, i don't think i've ever heard that one that i don't is, think i've heard that one either <laughs> it's very cute Thank you. That is normal, Tiber. I'm guessing that's about my pro-caffeinating, uh, which, you know, I'm actually out of coffee. Oh, well, that's it. Show done. done. <laughs> <coughs> right. More coffee. Yeah, <laughs> it's busy. It's all good. Um, all right. Well, I think we've got everything. I think we've covered everything from the chat room. So we're going to wrap up the show. Uh, I'd like to say our thank yous. Nisi, what have we got, please? Let me throw my cute little oh, heart yeah. up. Say heart, you all. There we go. Okay. So thank you to our Iron Elite supporters. There are multiple ways you can become an Iron supporter. Iron Elite supporter, if I could talk. Um, there are multiple ways, and you can find that on the WoW Challenges website. So you guys keep the lights on, show going, and all that. So we would like to thank Holly Andres, Awesome Trousers, Boz, Cell, Dave DeHooker, Execute, Fair, Grand Nagus, Chris W, Lauren Ramar, Vita, Mr. Bright, Zero One, Mrs. Rock Guru, Nisi Rudd, Stir Stone Tiber, aka Tiber, Winima and Zaya. Thank you guys. Your support means so much. Uh, we do appreciate it. It helps keep the website and all the bits and pieces going. So thank you so much for that. Uh, Stir and myself want to thank our mods again. Without you guys, yeah, make my life so much easier especially in times with working i'm sick <laughs> all the bits and pieces sometimes i just don't get to the computer for amount of time and to know that this bunch of people are here they've got things makes my life so much uh, easier and i couldn't do it without them so two awesome trousers Boz, Execute, Fair, Chris, Nisi, and Zaya. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. I know I say it every week, but seriously, you guys, you wonderful. So thank you for all that you do. Uh, to our Code Wardens, Zaya is knocking it out of the park. I, uh, what can I say? That is uh, amazing. Zaya, thank you for everything that you've been doing to get this website to get the code seriously dude um just fantastic also rod 
and nap time for having input and helping as well. You guys, thank you so, so much. It is greatly appreciated, all the work that you guys do. Everyone hanging out today, thank you for giving some time to spend with us for for a short while. It much appreciated uh, for those listening, wherever you're listening from. Thank you. Thank you so much. We, I will be back next week. It will be Saturday, May 21 at 7 p.m. Eastern. Nisi, thank you for joining me. Please You're tell welcome. To, please tell everyone, where can we find you? <laughs> okay, so I'm in the Wild Challenges Discord. Um, it's Nisi, then spelled knee as your knee, and C as you can see things. Um, four eight six three. Um, you can find me just about everywhere else as Nisi BGN, whether that be Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram. I, I'm I'm there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that pretty much covers everything. Where can we find you specifically, Mia? Okay, well, I actually did something last night that I'd been thinking about a while because I hate rattling off the whole like. Pretty much Lita, L W E T A, and Lita. Wow, you will find me everywhere. But I got myself a link tree and I'm putting stuff in there. So there's kind of like you can have one link that will take you to this is where you'll find me at all the things. But you know, I'm all over the things <laughs> Discord, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, Twitter. Yeah. It's, it's all there. So, um, uh, if you want to find me, that's, we'll have the link. You know where I am. <laughs> so, so yes. Um, other than that, uh, the last thank yous, uh, please. Oh, right. So, um, we would like to thank Mr. Bright zero one on the intro. And you can find him on Discord simply as Mr. Bright Zero One. Absolutely, and we do love that intro so much. <laughs> I, I know I say it probably every week, <laughs> but I do love that intro so much. It is a really great, fun way to start the show, and Ross knocked it out of the park. It's just wonderful. Uh, but also I have to say that the, I want to say thank you to my husband execute for helping me with the outro. Cause again, you know, having people with certain talents and things that they can do to help out is greatly appreciated. And you will get to hear that in a moment. Uh, but I do appreciate him greatly for all the things that he does. Anyway, um, all right. Well, again, thank you guys for hanging out. We do appreciate it. Please stay safe, both in and out of game, because we know this world <laughs> on both both levels can be a bit crazy. So please yep. have a good week. Nisi, thank you for joining You're me welcome. again today, and especially for all the things that you do. You know that. Um, but thank you. Thank you so much. And um, on that, we will say we will catch you next week. Bye, guys. Bye. The WoW Challenges podcast is a World of Warcraft gaming podcast produced by Lita, copyright 2022. Portions of this podcast belong entirely to Blizzard Entertainment. Music used for the show belongs to Kevin McLeod at Incomputech.com as well as from Benzound.com. No copyright infringement is intended. I do really enjoy that. Like that little bit of funky to finish off the show. I, I just like that. That That's good. Um, Junkyard Davey, that's Dave, isn't it? I yes. Just, stop changing names, Dave. I, I get so confused. No, I love <laughs> you, love you. I'm so glad that you found Tim Tams. Which ones did you get, Dave? I'm 
guessing you just got original. I'm gonna guess. Um, but Tim Tams are good. Don't forget Tim Tams slam it with your coffee. Definitely. Um, FAQing fun. You know, like FAQ. Oh, show titles. I misspelled what I had put in there. FAQing good time. <laughs> Hacking fun. Hacking good time. Fa and our word of the day, Alex. I, you know, it, <laughs> no, I, th I think facking good fun, facking good times, facking good times. There we go. That's fine. Original caramel and dark. Nice. Okay. So facking, what did I just say? Facking good. Facking good times. Facking good times. There we go. Because uh, <laughs> I'm sure we've not had that. No, title. I didn't think so. Okay. The last FAQ one I saw was I read the FAQ. I was scrolling through real quick earlier. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll have all the bits and pieces. And don't forget, you know, that's resources are there. Don't forget we've also got forums. You can ask a question. We've got Discord, all of that stuff, guys. So, um, so yeah. All right. Well, I think we're done. Yes. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>